Hey guys, it's Kelly. As you can tell by the title of the video, we will be doing a two rituals today. Um, yeah, so I have my angel here. There we go. You guys can see it's out of view, but I have an angel sitting here and I have a cross right here. So this is called the pend a pendulum reading. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be asking some questions to it. I mean, we put tilting the camera down so you guys can see that. Pretty much what you do is you're supposed to take a pendulum I don't have one, so we're doing this necklace. Yes, it has about, as you can see, sun on one side and moon on the other. Now, what does that remind you of? I'll give you guys a few seconds to think. It's a paranormal game, you know, so what does it remind you of? This star and the moon. Stars, the moon, and the sun. It's the Ouija board. As you know, in the top corners of a Ouija board, you get sun on one side, moon on the other. And that means, sun means good, and uh, moon means bad. So if a pe uh, the plant should have a ghost on those, it either means spirits good or bad. So what you're supposed to do, you have this paper which says, you see it says yes, yes, no, no. So it's kind of similar to Charlie. Charlie in the sun, so with the yes, yes, no, no. Then you have in the corners here, rephrase. Then these two corners are maybe, so. Oh no. These two corners are rephrased, these two corners are maybe. So you just ask the question and it's gonna swing like that for yes, so that way for no, rephrase maybe. So. No, it's maybe. See, I turned off the wrong light. I meant to turn off this big light. charger and I put it down on the ground and put on like the, the plug into the wall part that's that sticks out <sighs> okay here you go so that's better lighting you guys can see sorry my face is cut off a little bit um so we're gonna let's see we're gonna start by asking basic questions to text to test it out so it has to hold it still is my name Kelly Spirit is my name Kelly. <sighs> is my name Kelly? If you guys can see, it's swinging. Yes, if you guys can tell on the camera. Okay. Uh, let's see another one. I 22. Um, okay, let's see. Um, should I prepare questions? Okay, so. Let me ask you this question. Do I have do I have a chance of being with Jesse one day? Do I have a chance of being with Jesse one day? Oh, it's saying no. I know you may be hard to tell how it's swing on the camera, but it's saying no. Oh. Will I have a chance to be friends with Jesse one day? Okay, it's saying yes. I know they're swinging enough, like, much, but that's great. Um, is Story Fire going to end soon? Okay, now it's saying yes to. Um, and again, it may be hard to tell on camera to see where, how it's swinging, but hope you guys can see it. Okay, let me more. You guys can see, look, yes, up top here, no, rephrase this way. So we're swinging like this, that has to rephrase it. This way is maybe, this way is yes, this way is no. Just so you guys can have an idea. Okay. 
Will Jesse ever get back with Juliet? Will Jesse ever get back with Juliet? Okay, um. It's. Is Kid Behind the Camera haunted? Can you swing bigger, please? Bigger. Bigger. Guys, uh, you can see my hands not moving. No. It's saying no, he's not haunted, but I think he is haunted. Um, okay. What else we ask? Let me ask for one time. Okay. If, is Kit behind the camera haunted? Swing it big, please. Is he haunted? Is he haunted? Is Kid Behind the Camera Michael Green haunted? Okay. Was did he used to be haunted? Kid saying yes, so maybe now he's not haunted anymore. Okay, well thank you for talking with me, Spirit. That was nice. Okay guys, so that was that one, the pendulum meeting. It seemed to work. I mean, you saw it moving a little bit, but I did say it's spinning more, it kept going more. The next one is something I did a couple years ago. I still want the Bible. Yes, I'm doing it on top of the Bible. Let's get the near hard surface. Um, this is called the seeing eye ritual. It's something I kind of made up. So I used to, if you guys remember old videos I've done this like a couple years ago, I had this purple mail. You need one, a mail that kind of like can move like that back and forth and it's two-sided like something like this and it doesn't have to go like all the way around when you hit it but you have to be able to do that you need to have an eye and a piece of paper taping on i used to be able to like stick it in the mail like slits to get it to stay but this mail you can so i just taped it and yes this side is broken because it dropped and it kind of shattered so you need that you need stuff like this if you need a paper folded so it kind of can stand like that you put it on the side has yes and it has no. So the aim is, you ask the question, you hit it down, the paper will fall in front of you, and whatever it lands on, that's what it means. I'm just gonna do it darker so you guys can see good on the camera. I'm just writing them darker. Let me just see in camera now. Can you see that? Oh yeah, you guys can see that. So, so we're gonna, and we're gonna ask maybe the same questions just to see if we get the same answers. Why well, I believe this worked? Cause I've asked questions before and they would give me the correct answer. Okay. So we're gonna start off by saying, do I have a chance to be with Jesse? Let me put it to the edge one. And whatever which way it's facing you, I did say that. So you leave it to the. Do I have a chance to be in a relationship with Jesse one day? Damn. You guys can see that I'm not touching it. But you see what's facing the camera? No. So that means what's facing me is the correct answer and it's saying yes. So. Okay. Will story fire shut down eventually? Oh, I mean, no, let me rephrase the question. Will Storyfire will be shutting down soon? Okay, let's just, no. Will Storyfire be shutting down in a few months? No, okay. But let me act, let's test it to show you guys. Okay, so, is my name Kelly? Twenty-two years old. Well, I mean, I am turning twenty-three this year. Okay. Um. Is my favorite YouTuber McJugger Nuggets? No. Okay. That's weird. Well, I get a chance to be with the person I want to be with. So I won't get a chance. But it says yes, I get to be with Jesse. Um, 
will I be successful on YouTube? You said yes to that one. Oops. Will I get to be friends with Jesse one day? No. I'm saying no. But who knows? I can't. This is not an exact study. This game is something I did make up, but I don't know. I thought it was cool. Is Michael Green haunted? No. Okay, same answer as the pendulum thing. Did he used to be haunted? Yes. So it's some of the answers are similar to that, so I wanna ask a few questions from the time and I get different answers to. Will I get a chance to be with Jesse one day? No. Okay. Will I get a chance to be his friend? It's kind of more, even if it's on the diagonal like that, wherever side's more facing me, I don't know if you guys can tell, the yes is facing me more, so okay. Will my rebellion against story power be a success? I didn't see that. It did say yes. Again, it's saying no in the camera, but you have to remember, every answer is facing me. So this is facing you guys. So think about it. If that's facing me, then the yes is facing me. Right? I mean, if that's facing you, then the yes is facing me. So, okay. Let's see. Seeing eye. Are you to my left? Hold on. Let me re-ask it. Are you to my left? Nope. Okay. Are you to my right? Say no. Again. I mean, you guys can kind of see through the... So, are you behind me? Yes. So, you see? That's what I would do. So, it gave me no for my left, no for my right, yes for behind me. So, I don't know. I believe this is real. Um... Let's test it out here. Seeing eye, I want to say goodbye. So to say goodbye, can you put this when I hit the thing? Can you just make it land like in the middle between the yes and no? So goodbye. I mean, it kind of did land in the middle if you think about it between yes and no. Goodbye, Sina. Then when you're done, you're supposed to take this off and rip it up. So one. Okay, four, five, six. I ripped it in seven pieces because seven is a holy number. So that's what they say with Ouija birds too. Guys, try these things out. They're not dangerous. Um, I'm going to keep this because, you know, not doing anything. Um, uh, to me, it's not dangerous. Um, I did have protection items. I'll just say this real quick. Please, God and Jesus, keep me safe. I do want to go back to this real quick. Um, it's with the whole story fire thing ending. But yeah, guys, please, we need video submissions. Um, again, I've been talking about all you need to do is upload a video on YouTube unlisted under three minutes. Um, talking about how much you like Jesse and you appreciate what he tried to do with story fire, but it just didn't work out. Um, and yeah. This, uh, I don't know. This doesn't seem as bad as like a Ouija board, but I think I'm gonna rip it up too just to be on the safe side in seven pieces. So, four, five, six, seven. Okay, just be on the safe side. Um, I don't know where I got this necklace from, so don't ask. It's something I've had for years. I just, I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I thought these were cool. Um, I thought this was a cool video idea. Um, and yeah, again, so, oh yeah, for the video submission, guys, all you need to do is upload a video under three minutes on YouTube under Unlisted and send me the link on Twitter. And then what you do is, um, just talk about how you appreciate what Jesse tried to do with Starfire, but it's okay that it didn't work out and stuff because it's, it's not like, it's not financially good for him. Um, and you know, there's no way for us to get paid if you think about it because if he has a billion enough money to keep the app going, do you really think his, there's any money to pay us? I just don't see the point in it anymore. Again, as you guys know, I've been, I've been starting to write more on Storyfy, so I've been enjoying the writing aspect of it, but I just don't see a point to it anymore. I think it just needs to end. 
you know, I love Jesse to death. I always support him. And, you know, being a true fan of someone is telling them, you know, when they're doing something that's not good for them. You know, whether it's making them happy or not, it's not good for him. You know, is that good for him financially? Is that good for him? You know what I mean? So that's what being a true fan is all about, is telling them when they're doing something wrong. You know, not letting them go down a bad path. You know, to being a true fan, and that goes for relationship rise, like friendships, family. Like, just because you see some someone doing something that's making them happy, that doesn't mean you should go along with it. Especially if it's not good for them, especially if it's hurting them. Like, you know, financially rise, you know, uh, socially rise, whatever, whatever the situation is, you gotta speak up. You know, at the end of the day, that's how it is, so. You know, I'm not saying that anyone who, I'm not trying to say either that if you agree with Starfire that you're not a true fan or, or a good friend or anything. That's all I'm trying to say Oh, I'm just trying to let you guys know then what it means to be a true fan of someone and a true friend that, yes, you support them no matter what, but yes, you also let them, let them know when they're doing something wrong or doing something that's hurting them, you know? What I mean, Jelly Bean? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Follow me on my socials. Follow Khan on Insta. Subscribe to Josh. Subscribe to Rich May Hashtag AGP. I love you guys so much, my randomers, and I will see you guys, um, and let me know what other type of content you want to see, and I will see you randomers in the next video. Peace.